The speaker across the street is, is calling uh, Ruhalva a racist and a traitor. What do you think of that? You know, I think Ruhalva should stick up for the people of Arizona. He's not doing that. I think he needs to stand up for Arizona regardless of skin color. He's supposed to represent Arizona. He's supposed to represent District 7. And I don't think he's doing that. And he's hurting everyone regardless of their skin color. So you it's okay then for that man to call him a racist and inflame the crowd like that. I guess I don't have an opinion. He has the right to say that if he wants to. But do you condone that type of inflammatory language? You know, I don't tend to call people racist myself. I think it's a very hateful thing to say. I think you need to watch it when you call someone a racist. But yes, there are racists here in this country, unfortunately, and there have been some in history, and that's one thing that we need to have a good defense because some people are racist, and they do hurt other people just because of their race. We deal with genocide, and that's one reason I believe in a strong defense, because there is other nations that do do that. For all the, I don't know that it, he's not standing up for Arizona, regardless of skin. Yeah, I know, it's just... I just find it inflammatory and in, in sort of inciting the crowd to call a representative a racist, and he's really not a racist. It is inciting the crowd. Grijalva has called other people racist, though, so and I think he should... When has he called other people racist? Uh, they've been calling the Tea Partiers racist, and I've been going to many Tea Parties. I have well, not seen there racism are, in Tea I've, Parties. Tea Party has lots of innocence of racism. There are racists, but then again, I've met people from every different race you could think of at Tea Parties. Right. And so they're standing up for Arizona. What I have found when I go to Tea Parties is people that just love this country. And they're scared about the government control. They're very scared about the government's debt. And so for people in Washington to be calling people at Tea Parties racist, I think it's wrong in that and of itself. If they want to say, yes, there are some races out there, it is a problem, that is one thing. But to call everyone that's a Tea Party or racist, that's wrong. So it's the same thing. They're inciting hate. And I personally think calling someone a racist is a very hateful thing to call anybody. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I view we have a president that is illegal. He should not have. He, I, I'm absolutely convinced he was born in Kenya. What particular issue are you here for? I would like to stop the illegal uh, Mexicans immigration. I would like to stop Obama, uh, Obama primarily. I would like to stop uh, Grijalva. Uh, I think I'd like to vote everybody off and vote everybody new in. Okay, that's basically it. Okay, any particular reason why? Yeah, I don't think they're for the United States anymore. I think they're. I think they're socialists or communists, and, and I don't want anything to do with them. Okay. American citizens cannot get any help and assistance because of all the illegal aliens who are being coddled and protected and harbored in the battered women's shelters. So <laughs> what do you think we should do about the illegal aliens? Oh, I think we need to go get all the school buses that the citizens have already paid for, put all of the illegal aliens on them, drive them to the border, and throw their asses across the borderline.